Ah, the Bermuda Triangle, where sailors and aviators sign up to play a never-ending game of hide-and-seek. But if you thought that notorious patch of the sea was mysterious, wait until you see the other mysterious locations our planet is home to that are even more unique, creepy, and downright baffling. From an island that lures ships to their destruction, to the supernatural zone of silence found in the Mexican desert, let's investigate some strangeness-filled places that are even more mysterious than the Bermuda Triangle. Devil Sea Since the early 1950s, the infamous Bermuda Triangle has struck fear into the hearts of countless seafarers and flight passengers. Over 50 ships and 20 airplanes are said to have mysteriously vanished in this vast tropical area in the northwestern Atlantic Ocean. While the more imaginative theorists claim these disappearances were caused by alien abductions or even energy beams from the lost city of Atlantis, most reputable sources argue they're simply the result of piloting errors and bad weather. Not to mention, this region of the world has especially high levels of sea and air traffic, so it makes sense that the frequency of incidents there would be relatively high. But while these explanations might apply to the Bermuda Triangle, there's an even more perilous oceanic triangle that's been bewildering maritime historians for decades. The Dragon's Triangle is a large area in the Pacific Ocean south of Tokyo, where hundreds of ships have reportedly gone missing since the 1940s. One report about the Triangle claims that in 1955, the Japanese government sent a large research vessel into the area to investigate these disappearances, only for it to sail straight into oblivion itself, never being seen again. While the Dragon's Triangle is often considered a supernatural hotspot, it turns out that many of the ships that went missing there were simply small, vulnerable fishing boats with no radio systems. Plus, the supposedly missing government research vessel was actually sent to investigate a prominent undersea volcano within the Dragon's Triangle area. The fact is that the ship sank due to an eruption of that very volcano in 1952, not 1955, as one book claimed. Still, there's little doubt that this stretch of ocean, also known as the Devil's Sea, is highly dangerous. The seabed here has an unusually high abundance of undersea volcanoes and methane deposits, which can cause literal underwater explosions and affect the buoyancy of boats resulting in sinkings. That being said, I guess that story is probably what the undersea aliens inhabiting the Dragon's Triangle want us to think as they continue to zap ships out of existence and chuckling at our expense. Puny humans with your itty bitty boats. Why don't you go cry all the way back home to mommy at the Bermuda Triangle? Nevada Triangle. Spanning over 25,000 square miles of rocky desert between Reno, Fresno, and Las Vegas, the Nevada Triangle is widely regarded as the mountainous counterpart to the plane snatching Bermuda Triangle. In fact, depending on which news site you ask, it's reported that anywhere between 200 and 2,000 aircrafts have inexplicably vanished within the Nevada Triangle over the last 60 years. Many of these have never been found. One such plane to go missing that did eventually turn up belonged to the record-setting aviator Steve Fawcett. In September 2007, Fawcett and his airplane mysteriously disappeared somewhere in the Sierra Mountains, right in the heart of the Nevada Triangle. Fawcett was a highly experienced pilot who held the title as the first person to fly solo around the entire world non-stop in 2005, so his Nevada Triangle flight should have been a walk in the park. Officials found no sign of Fawcett and his plane until a year later when a hiker discovered Fawcett's ID card and the crash site was recovered a few days later. Sadly, Fawcett didn't ever return home. While aviation accidents are often down to human or systems error, many have tried to explain the frequency of disappearances reported in the Nevada Triangle. Some of the wilder theories suggest that UFOs are behind these disappearances, especially since the Nevada Triangle's eastern edge is home to the infamous Area 51. While this is certainly a creepy coincidence, and the mountains and deserts of the region create a fantastic setting for such a tale, there are some more plausible potential explanations to the mystery of the Nevada Triangle. 
The region contains challenging geographical and atmospheric conditions, where high mountain peaks combine with strong Pacific winds to create downdrafts capable of ripping planes right out of the sky. And since the Nevada Triangle is such a vast remote area with extremely uneven terrain, it's unsurprising that many crash sites are never tracked down. Plus, the upper end statistic of 2,000 disappearances seems to be a wildly exaggerated rumor with no actual evidence to back it up. Still, looking out into these rolling desert hills, it's hard not to imagine something otherworldly might exist out there. But if it really is out there, I've watched enough alien movies to know we'd better be careful what we wish for. Zone of Silence for decades, the Mapimi Silent Zone, aka the Zone of Silence, has tickled the imagination of folks with an interest in the weirder side of planet Earth. This 30 miles wide patch of desert in Durango, Mexico is claimed to possess inexplicable electromagnetic properties that rival those that are rumored to exist in the Bermuda Triangle itself. Allegedly, the area has caused compasses to bizarrely spin out of control as well as blocking signals from all modern communication devices like cell phones and plane radios. While you might think plane crashes would occur frequently in this mysterious zone, even stranger flying objects have been discovered here. In 1970, an American missile fired towards a testing range randomly flew 400 miles off course and crash landed right in the middle of the zone of silence. Nobody knows for sure what happened to make the rocket veer so far off course, but some theorize an anomalous magnetic force pulled it into the zone. Some passionate locals suggest that magnetic anomalies like this in the area are caused by a large amount of the mineral magnetite in the surrounding rock, or potentially other magnetic materials deposited by meteorites. Indeed, several meteorites are recorded as landing in the zone throughout the 20th century two of which, bizarrely, struck the exact same ranch almost 20 years apart. There are even more anomalies in the Zone of Silence according to locals, including weirdly mutated organisms such as bright purple cacti, which only adds to the Zone's extraterrestrial vibes. With all that being said, however, there's a few things to consider. Firstly, several groups of scientists who've been brave enough to actually visit the Zone of Silence for themselves reported no issues with their gadgets or compasses. There's also the argument that the infamous American missile could have gone haywire due to human error or faulty equipment. As for the so-called mutated purple cacti, they're really just a species named purple prickly pear, which naturally changed shade in response to environmental stresses like drops in temperature and dehydration. But while the Zone of Silence might have some logical explanations, I doubt they're enough to silence all the diehard conspiracy theorists out there. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't kind of hope there's something more to this eerie spot. Mekong River At first glance, the Mekong River running through the Phan Phasai district of Thailand doesn't appear out of the ordinary. But if you find yourself there at just the right time, you'll find it holds an extraordinary secret that's intrigued locals and tourists for many years. Check this out. Around late October every year, these otherworldly basketball-sized orbs known as Naga Fireballs emerge from the river's water. These mystical lights shoot hundreds of feet into the sky before disappearing in the blink of an eye. And while they may look like fireworks, their appearance is a true mystery. According to local legend, the fireballs come from the breath of giant serpents known as Naga. These mythical beasts are said to slumber in the murky depths of the river, and only awaken around late October each year to honor the end of Buddhist Lent with their fiery breath. Since these legendary creatures are yet to be sighted IRL, some scientists suggest that the fiery orbs are actually methane or phosphine bubbles created by decomposing matter on the riverbed. When the methane contacts the airborne oxygen above the water's surface, there's a small chance it can spontaneously ignite, flying high into the atmosphere before suddenly burning out. While you might think a natural explanation makes the most sense, skeptics question how it's possible that the fireballs recur at such an exact time of year and note the statistical unlikeliness of such frequently repeated ignitions. 
Another argument is that the suspiciously precise timing of the Naga fireballs might mean the whole thing is a carefully planned hoax and fired by flare guns or using tracer rounds to drum up tourism. Still, for some, the presence and movement of the fireballs doesn't quite seem to line up to a satisfactory degree with either explanation. All I know is, if I ever visit the banks of the Mekong River, I'm packing a methane gas mask and Godric Gryffindor sword, just in case an old Naga snake does decide to finally reveal themselves. La Bamba now that we've seen one river that shoots fire into the sky, how about one where the water itself burns with lethal heat? Hidden deep within the Amazon rainforest in the Puerto Inca province of Peru flows the mystical Chene Tempishka, also known as La Bamba. The temperature of this four-mile section of the Amazon River somehow ranges between 113 and 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Heats that could easily cause third-degree burns with just one second of contact. While its name translates to boiled by the heat of the sun, the true source of Chene Tempishka's heat is shrouded in mystery. You see, other boiling water bodies are always located near volcanoes and heated by magmatic systems. One example is the Chinese spring situated within the magmatic hotspot of Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, USA. The strangely bright orange color around this geyser is caused by bacteria known as thermophiles, which thrive in high temperatures. Combined with the contrasting blueness of the boiling pool, it almost looks like an interdimensional portal that I'll bet any pilot would be nervous to fly over. But unlike the Chinese spring, La Bamba isn't brightly colored, nor is it located in a magmatic area. In fact, the nearest volcano to La Bamba, known as Carjo Razo, is more than 400 miles away. The best explanation we have is that rainwater seeps extremely deep underground further upstream, where it's heated by rocks skirting the very edge of the Earth's mantle before resurfacing through cracks in the Earth joining the river. While the theory certainly could hold water, and I'm a big fan of thermal spas, it's probably best to simply admire this hot tub on steroids from a distance. Bridgewater Triangle Spanning 200 square miles between Abington, Freetown, and Rehoboth in southeastern Massachusetts, the Bridgewater Triangle is our next big Bermuda contender. While the Bermuda Triangle is mostly associated with disappearances, this perplexing polygon is filled with stories of terrifying appearances. The area has been home to countless reports of ghostly entities, unidentified flying objects, sightings of unnatural animals and humanoids, and even ritualistic animal sacrifice. Most notably for decades, drivers traveling down Route 44 at night have reported encountering a mysterious figure on the roadside. Bizarrely, the description of this mystery man is just about always the same. Red flannel shirt, dirty jeans, boots, long red hair, and a great big bushy beard. Drivers have reported picking him up after seeing him wandering down the road only for the mysterious redhead to climb into the back seat and stare at the driver silently with black soulless eyes. He never speaks, but he does sometimes laugh maniacally until the driver threatens to pull over, at which time he suddenly vanishes into thin air right before their eyes. While tales of the Bridgewater Hitchhiker are pretty terrifying, a possible explanation for these shared visions could be even scarier. During long drives at night, darkness and repetitive scenery can lull drivers into a hypnotic state similar to the state of mind just before entering sleep, which can lead to hallucinations. What's not completely clear is why so many drivers seem to hallucinate the exact same thing in the Bridgewater Triangle, but aside from the possibility of widespread hoaxes, there might be an answer to this. In their hypnotic state, drivers who've heard the legend of the red-headed hitchhiker on Route 44 may hallucinate his appearance, almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy based on what they expect to see. In darkness, our brains do have a scientifically documented habit of filling the visual blanks, so perhaps it's not such an impossible explanation as it may seem. Either way, to conquer the mysteries of the Bridgewater Triangle, it seems all you'll need is a healthy sense of skepticism. And regular driving breaks on a long journey. Stay safe, folks. Hoye Bachu Circle Within the Transylvanian region of northern Romania lies an unusual forest that's sure to send chills down your spine thanks to its roster of mysterious disappearances. 
Hoyebatsu Forest is widely regarded by those with a belief in the supernatural as the world's most haunted woodland and is rife with abundant stories of the paranormal. One local legend goes that a shepherd and his flock of 200 sheep inexplicably vanished while walking through the forest, never to be seen again. A five-year-old girl is also said to have gone missing in these woods, only to reappear five years later wearing the same clothes and not having aged a day. Unsurprisingly, there is little evidence the events in these stories really happened, with no records of disappearances in the forest showing up in Romanian newspaper archives. However, to this day, visitors of the forest do consistently report sudden nausea, anxiety, and feelings of being watched. These symptoms seem to ramp up in the area around this ominous circular clearing where trees mysteriously refuse to grow. Scientists have reportedly tested the soil there and found no chemical anomalies to explain it, so could something otherworldly really be going on here? Well, despite their odd appearance, natural patches of meadow within woodlands are actually fairly common and are often caused by shallow bedrocks preventing tree roots from taking hold. And since many of the trees that do grow in Hoyabachu look strangely warped and skeleton-like, it's unsurprising that visitors often describe feeling a little anxious and creeped out. Either way, I won't be choosing Hoyabachu for my next glamping trip, that's for sure. Lake Baikal not only is Lake Baikal of southern Siberia the world's largest, deepest, and oldest freshwater lake, but it might also be the most peculiar. For starters, official Russian state news has claimed that in 1982, a group of seven Soviet Navy divers were conducting an exercise 160 feet below Lake Baikal's surface when they encountered a group of 10 feet tall extraterrestrial humanoids. Even stranger is that the figures are said to have been wearing silver wetsuits and spherical helmets. When the divers tried to capture one in a net, the creature somehow launched a powerful upsurge that sent the divers careening back towards the surface. Aside from the official nature of the source, there's zero real proof supporting this fantastical story and none of the numerous underwater research projects conducted at Lake Baikal since have discovered anything remotely similar in its frigid depths. While these aquatic silver aliens seem a little hard to believe, Lake Baikal does host other anomalies that are very real. Every winter, these glistening 50-foot turquoise sculptures somehow emerge spontaneously across the lake's frozen surface. Weirder still, at Lake Baikal's western shore, these eerie white disks frozen in ice appear to stack themselves upwards from the gloomy depths. Upon seeing these mysterious formations, many might conclude that the lake has supernatural properties after all. But in reality, these gem-like blocks are naturally forming ice hummocks pushed out of the lake due to uneven pressure in the packed ice below. Still, it can't just be me that wants one of these beautiful things as decor in my house, even if it will rapidly melt all over the carpet. As for these saucer-shaped bubbles, they're frozen pockets of methane released by a cushion of boggy sediment resting on the lake bed. So while the legends surrounding Lake Baikal seem to be on thin ice, the lake remains a truly remarkable and unique natural wonder to behold, even without the aliens. And we can't ignore the fact that this lake is literally a mile deep at its lowest. With how insanely deep it is, this location will forever be filled from top to bottom with a real sense of unnerving mystery. For who truly knows what lurks deep down in those dark depths? Forgotten Pyramid You've likely heard of the mysterious Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, but you may not know that there's an even older and bigger ancient pyramid supposedly buried in Indonesia. While the slopes of Mount Sadahurup in West Java are currently used as farmlands, the mountain has a suspiciously precise pyramidal shape. The boldest theorists claim that an incredibly old man-made stone pyramid hides beneath the grass cover, containing treasure from a long-lost ancient civilization. While the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza took place around 4,500 years ago, the rock within Mount Sadahurup has been carbon dated to be around 6,500 years old. So how is it possible that such an early civilization with primitive stone tools could build such an impressive structure? Well, truthfully, there's almost no reputable evidence aside from its man-made looking appearance that the mountain was crafted by mastermind ancient architects at all. Instead, geologists propose that Mount Sadahurup is actually a volcanic cinder cone which naturally formed into a smooth slope structure by the buildup of solidified lava. 
Information beyond this theory is unfortunately scarce since previous research on the mountain disrupted the farms owned by locals. This led to farmers refusing to allow additional exploration, meaning further investigations are currently on hold. Hmm, if I were a local, I know I'd be curious to find out what's really under there, but I suppose earning a living is pretty important too. Spotted Lake Nestled with Okanagan Valley of British Columbia, Canada lies a marvel of nature truly unlike any other. During summer, the water of Spotted Lake dries up to reveal a hidden leopard print pattern of hundreds of multicolored pools. While most of our Bermuda Triangle mystery contenders are known for their creepy qualities, this lake is often described as the most magical place in Canada. In fact, it's considered a spiritually sacred place by the indigenous Okanagan tribe, who believe that each colorful circle possesses distinct healing properties. While I'm all for spiritual beliefs, I can't help but wonder what's really going on here. Turns out Spotted Lake is a saline endorheic lake, which means its water doesn't drain into a river or creek like most others. When rainwater and snow melt from the surrounding hills trickle down into the lake, minerals and salts are funneled in too and accumulate there over centuries. When the lake water evaporates each summer, it leaves behind walkways of hardened salts between shallow mineral-rich pools. The multicolored hue of each separate pool depends on their different mineral concentrations and can include calcium, sodium sulfate, and magnesium sulfate. While the spiritual beliefs attached to the Spotted Lake inspire mystique, the addition of a scientific explanation makes it all the more magical. Kazakhstan Pentagram Thanks to the advent of satellite imagery, we can investigate mysterious places from the comfort of our own homes. But before you punch in the Bermuda Triangle into Google Maps for the hundredth time, why not check this out instead? In 2009, a Google Earth image showing a five-pointed star and circle etched into the ground in a desolate corner of Kazakhstan went viral online. Not only is this ominous pentagram over 1,200 feet in diameter, it's also mysteriously isolated with the nearest city of Lysakovsk being over 12 miles away. Since the inverted pentagram is widely known as a pretty nefarious symbol associated with the occult sigil of Baphomet, utilized by various satanic organizations, many online theorists speculate that local cults could be using the site for diabolical rituals. However, local sources argue that it's actually just the outline of a harmless lakeside park. Until gaining independence in 1991, Kazakhstan was part of the former Soviet Union in which star symbols were popularly used to decorate buildings, flags, and monuments. The park's star-shaped pathways were likely installed by the Soviets before being abandoned after the collapse of the Soviet Union. While this pentagram park might not be fostering unholy cult activities, it still feels a little too creepy for a pleasant afternoon picnic, if you ask me. Dead Vly while targets of strange happenings in the Bermuda Triangle date back to the 1950s, our next strange site holds mysteries that can be traced back more than 650 years ago. Enclosed within the enormous red sand dunes of the Namib Nakhloft National Park in central Namibia sits an arid, alien landscape known as Dead Vly. Strangely, this bone-dry expanse contains an unsettling graveyard of blackened camel thorn trees estimated to have died some 650 years ago. But how did these skeleton-like trees even grow in such a barren wasteland? And what mystical force is keeping them standing? While it might appear like some kind of ancient desert curse is what's keeping these spooky structures intact, the real answers lie in the area's geological history. Around 900 years ago, Dead Vly was flooded when rainfall caused the nearby Sha Chab River to overflow. The water provided nourishment for the camel thorn trees to grow, but as the climate changed and the dunes started blocking off Dead Vly's river water supply, the white clay and trees dried up and died. The extreme lack of moisture in the area prevents the wood from even decaying, leaving the trees doomed to scorch black under the harsh desert sun. For eternity! Jeez, maybe the question we should be asking is what these trees did in their past lives to deserve such a cruel fate. That's the real mystery. Mere Mine This bizarre gaping hole is located in the town of Mirny in eastern Russia. Known as the Mere Mine, 
The monstrous cavity is almost 4,000 feet wide and over 1,700 feet deep and operated as an open pit diamond mine between 1957 and 2001. The weird thing is a no-fly zone has been mysteriously enforced across the airspace directly above the hole. But why? Believe it or not, it's said that the cavernous pit is somehow capable of sucking passing aircraft out of the sky and deep into its vacuous depths. How, you ask? Well, if a hole is deep enough, the Earth will warm the air inside. Due to its lower density, hot air rises compared with the more densely packed cold air that sinks. So the extreme temperature difference between the air inside the mere mine pit and above ground air creates a lot of movement. The warm air rising from the mirror mine is less dense and would give less lift to a flying plane than the cooler air it had previously been flying through. Since the temperature change would be so sudden, the plane could lose a bunch of altitude and descend into the mine. While no planes have yet fallen prey to this anomaly, if I were a pilot, I think I'd rather take my chances cruising over the Bermuda Triangle. Impossible Forest the crooked forest located in the Pomerania region of Poland contains a perplexing grove of 400 distorted pine trees. They all bend sharply towards north just above the ground, extend sideways for three to nine feet, then curve back into normal upright positions. The kicker? Nobody knows how or why. Some speculate that strong winds from a snowstorm bent the trees early on during their growth, but that doesn't really explain why the curved trunks are surrounded by a forest of seemingly unaffected trees. Others argue the wood was deliberately shaped by humans for later use in furniture or boat building. But if that's true, it wasn't recorded in any known documents, and the tools or local techniques used to create such unconventional tree growth remains concealed to this day. For now, this perplexing patch of forest officially remains a mystery. Let me know what you think may have caused it in the comments below. Magnetic Island Located five miles off the coast of Townsville, Australia, Magnetic Island offers a wealth of natural beauty. But it's also a treasure trove of bizarre phenomena and unexplained wonders. Magnetic Island was given its peculiar moniker in 1770 by British explorer Captain James Cook, when a puzzling magnetic pull emanating from the island supposedly began interfering with his ship's compass. While this inexplicable magnetic anomaly has never been officially observed again, what we can observe to this day are at least 20 rotting shipwrecks strewn around the island's shores. This maritime graveyard has led many to label Magnetic Island as Australia's very own Bermuda Triangle. Adding to Magnetic Island's mystique are the countless sightings of a large unidentified sea beast similar to the Loch Ness Monster. The idea of the legendary Nessie attacking ships around Magnetic Island while on a sunny vacation from the Scottish Highlands sure is fantastical, but it turns out this coastal graveyard may not be all that supernatural. In fact, while some of the shipwrecks were the result of cyclones, several were actually sunk intentionally by humans to break up strong ocean waves headed for the island's shore. Sightings of the Loch Ness Monster-like creature could similarly be explained by floating branches or shipwreck debris. Or given that the east coast of Australia is a natural home to members of the bizarre or fish species, it's easy to imagine how one such specimen could be mistaken for a supernatural cryptid of some kind. But even if the air of mystery surrounding Magnetic Island is somewhat of a sinking ship, the tales about it will always have a magnetic charm in my eyes. Skinwalker Ranch Amidst the pastures of northeastern Utah lies a 512-acre real estate nightmare known as Skinwalker Ranch. In 1994, Terry and Gwen Sherman purchased this abominable ranch only to be driven off the property within just 18 months due to an alleged frenzy of paranormal activity. They reportedly witnessed countless UFOs and heard disembodied voices speaking unrecognizable languages. Their cattle would mysteriously vanish or have their innards inexplicably removed with surgical precision. Terry Sherman even claims he encountered a wolf three times bigger than normal, which had glowing red eyes and was completely immune to bullets. Those inclined towards supernatural beliefs theorize that this mysterious creature was a skinwalker of Native American legends, from which Skinwalker Ranch gets its name. In fact, locals claim these shape-shifting demons plagued the region surrounding the ranch due to a curse laid by the Navajo tribe in the mid-1800s. 
In a similarly otherworldly interpretation, online theorists suspect that interdimensional gateways are dotted around the ranch, allowing otherworldly beings to cross over and wreak havoc in our reality. But skeptics argue that all the frightening occurrences were likely made up by the Shermans. No significant abnormalities were reported at the ranch for at least 60 years prior to the Shermans moving in, and very little reliable evidence in this vein has been gathered since. Alternatively, it's possible the incidents could be an example of a shared delusion. This delusion phenomenon has been noted across the world at several points throughout history, where hallucinations and psychotic breaks spread almost like a psychological virus among isolated communities. It's somewhat believable, but perhaps the true explanation lays in something as yet unprovable. Possibly even in the unusual geology, some claim lays below the ranch, causing a variety of inexplicable electromagnetic phenomena. In any case, with all this high strangeness, I can only imagine the dinner table conversations that have been held at Skinwalker Ranch. Honey, did you see that alien spacecraft hovering over the cornfield today? Oh darling, I must have been distracted. Bigfoot was trying to borrow our lawnmower. Which of these mysterious places baffled you the most? Do you know of any places more mysterious than the Bermuda Triangle? Let me know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.